Hello everyone. Uh, in this post, I want to talk about uh, if you are uh, thinking about moving, uh, living in another country. How can you actually do that and not to spend too much money? But you want to answer the question: Is this place is really for me? Is it really worthwhile to immigrate to this place? So I want to show you and give you some suggestions from experience how I've done it in the past and what I'm doing today so let's start so in New Zealand as you can see a lot of nature and uh, people have a lot of free space and lots of gardens a lot of land so that's require lots of maintenance so therefore, what's popular in New Zealand is what's called volunteering for accommodation and food. Something that like in many countries is not really popular, but here it's very popular. So what does it mean accommodation and food? So there are a few websites that you can look for people who advertise. They give you background about themselves and say, okay, this is the work that I need. I need, for example, help with painting, I need help in the garden, I need to clean some bush, I need to do some fencing, I need to help to sell my food in the market, whatever it is. In exchange for four hours work like this a day, we've been provided with accommodation it can be a room in a house or it can be a cottage separate or a different levels depends what the host have and also they will provide you three full meals a day so it means they're going to cook for you so six years ago when I came to New Zealand to explore the place I did it a lot and I must say one of the main expenses in New Zealand is actually your accommodation your hotels you actually where to stay temporarily stays are the most expensive uh, and that's what you spend most of your money on so if you are covering the accommodation issue so you can travel for a long, long time and actually not to spend too much money because food is depends on your diet but food is not the uh, compared to accommodation it's not expensive anyway so and you have a lot of options you have a lot of hosts everywhere in New Zealand that will help you out and host you and cook meals meal for you so that's what I did six years ago and I went through all New Zealand then stayed and did this kinds of exchange so in the process you can learn new skills you will learn about the culture you will see how people live get some feedback about how you behave with them if you come from another culture and you can see if that's something that is suitable for you or not and of course like I said you will save lots of money that's amazing eh so even if you are coming for three months usually on the tourist visa visitor visa and you want to maybe do it six months as possible and you want to extend it nine months a year on working holiday what people do so it's possible so you can get a lot of answers if you really want to have life in New Zealand invest in a long-term immigration process or not because agree with me that coming to a country investing lots of money and effort and selling everything in your base country 
and come into a place that you won't like that's a shame eh but if you'll have an option to come and explore first and get as much information as possible from how you, would you feel living here it will save you lots of trouble because maybe New Zealand won't be right for you maybe other country will be Anyway, uh, so today, uh, this is one of the things I do today and I can say I love it because now after living in Auckland several years and in Northland several years and traveling all around New Zealand but I didn't explore in depth, in depth uh, how to live in other places so that's what I'm going to do next Anyway, so my last uh, epic experience was in Taupo, New Zealand, is the central North Island and uh, we stayed with a couple they were about 60 they had their own house and several properties and uh, we had our own separate cottage and we worked 4 hours per day from 8.30 till 12.30 and mostly was helping around the garden and do some painting work so the breakfast we, we provided some food for breakfast so we had a kitchen inside and a separate room and a lounge like a really high level I'll show you the picture and uh, after we've been working and the work was kind of all right no painting and after we finishing our work at 12.30 we were going to a warm lunch at their house to be living together and most of the time we've been eating dinner together as well so if we weren't eating together they had something to do or we had something to do later so they provided us the ingredients and we cook ourselves in our place and that's great so what's happening that I'm working just four hours I have my accommodation provided we are socializing we're learning about the people and the culture and the place and we have after one o'clock after finished lunch we have the all day for ourselves to do whatever so we went cycle riding, we went to the lake, we went hiking, we went to the hot pools in nature. All the day is free. So I really love to travel and discover that, but, but my aim is actually to get more explore how people and the cost of living, cost of houses, cost of schools, everything, all that that will be perfect for what I'm doing today and uh, if you compare it to previously I was working, you know in the hospital for many hours yes, I was earning really good money and if I was continuing like that and also I had my private practice so if I was continuing like that so I could buy a house in Auckland or anywhere but the question is if you really want to live in Auckland if you really want to live in Taupo or any other place this is the biggest question so the house affordability it's affordable especially when two people are earning I was living by myself in Auckland and I could do that so house affordability is actually affordable of course the rules are that you probably need to take a mortgage like most of people who are buying houses in New Zealand do it but if you are deciding okay this is the place you want to spend your 20-30 years this is the best but you need to feel and understand okay this is where I'm going to live but if you don't know that so take your time explore yeah so my experience with that Help family was quite good 
Uh, also, I want to mention that six years ago when I was doing health peaks, I was eating everything. And after being in New Zealand six years ago, I went plant-based. Well, like no animal products or milk or whatever. And I found that it became a bit harder to get health peaks when you are plant-based. But it's a lot easier when you eat in everything. Now, eating everything was the, will probably just take a little bit more effort. But if you eat in everything, it will be a lot easier. Or also, what you can do is to work two hours just for accommodation and take your own food. So then you have even more time. But who knows? Maybe the time of cooking will take you quite a lot. So maybe it's actually worthwhile to have accommodation in food. Yeah, so uh, what I noticed in, uh, specifically in this day uh, about uh, me being plant-based uh, that they kind of said mm, uh, we supply uh, only like canned food and we cook you know some lentils and seasonal food so food that we eat usually like is bananas and uh, uh, nuts and all these things was kind of auto rich for them but then I'm, and then they said one thing that was like really really difficult for me not to judge they told us listen we are poor pensioners but in other hand i'm looking Wait a second, they have properties around the world and in New Zealand mortgage free with, with worth of value of millions of New Zealand dollars They have two cars, they have their own boat They have three bicycles worth of $7,000 and they're saying they are, they are poor pensioners that can't buy a bag of nuts for $10. So, but overall our stay was really, really nice. And eventually we received maybe not half a kilo of walnuts, but we received maybe 200 grams of walnuts. And not 500 and not five kilos of bananas but two or three kilograms of bananas but they were completely in shock because they said that the new zealand people used to give the, the food that they will provide is only you know some food in season and not really you know extreme but i can say the meals were in this host was really 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 good but yeah i understand we have requirements with food and uh, that's what I choose to do but that's all good maybe you have different requirements so it will be easier for you but being plant-based and do help it will be a bit harder uh, compared to if you're doing everything so that will be uh, this is my uh, advice if you want to kind of explore a country and answer the question do I really want that come and do help picks or uh, it's called woofing or volunteer for uh... yeah th th this will be kind of the best so you will learn a lot and and get closer to your question a lot more than staying in the hotels so the point is not actually saving the money but it's more to answer the question is it really for me so Good luck.